So my name is Dr. Arif Mohan. I'm a neuropsychiatrist and a senior staff specialist at the Neuropsychiatric Institute, Prince of Wales Hospital. Uh, I'm also a senior lecturer with uh, the University of New South Wales with the discipline of psychiatry and mental health and deal largely in clinical research of patients with a range of neuropsychiatric conditions. So functional neurological disorders, or FND for short, um, describes really a, a group of people, a group of patients that present with a range of neurological symptoms. And these include um, attacks that look like epileptic seizures um, or episodes of weakness or paralysis that don't relate to specific neurological diseases, um, such as strokes or multiple sclerosis or epilepsy. As such, they represent a group of people that have a complex set of symptoms and a disorder that's not well understood. Um, people find it very hard to grapple with the idea that one can have uh, an attack that looks like a seizure but not have epilepsy at the same time, for instance. The patients that we see tell us a similar story. Um, they tell us about being stigmatized for having a condition that is poorly understood um, and for having a condition uh, that appears to many to not be real. There's a huge variance in what people experience and can access in relation to their FND care. So people are often left with a diagnosis and left to find what they need to do afterwards on their own. There aren't services, uh, or very many services, that provide holistic care for FND um, with the required expertise embedded within that service, not just medical, but allied health, all of which is critical to effective care in FND, and such services are unfortunately few and far between. So we were successful in... Um, in receiving a Mind Gardens translational seed funding grant in 2021 that allowed us to establish the Mind Gardens F&D clinic that brings together um, a neuropsychiatrist, um, being myself, and a group of allied health clinicians um, that include a psychologist, an occupational therapist, and a physiotherapist. Um, and we base that here at the Prince of Wales Hospital. Um, and it is a clinic that is unique in providing them with a one-stop shop for what one might think of as being the foundation of recovery in FND. So a critical part of the Mind Gardens funding in the way that we conceptualized the service was to make sure that we addressed gaps in FND research and literature in Australia and New Zealand. So what do people with FND in New South Wales um, present with? Um, how often do they require um, the input of healthcare services? What are their levels of disability? Um, how does their condition essentially prevent them from studying or engaging in the workforce? And underneath that, really, what can we do to deliver a service that is uh, responsive, but also sustainable in terms of resource utilization? Because we recognize that the resources available in the public healthcare sector are limited. Um, and we set out to measure the effectiveness of delivering a real world clinical intervention, one that is um, tailored to the individual. At the end of um, the grant funding period for the Mind Gardens FD Clinic, we will not just have a high quality data set that tells us what the needs of patients with FND are uh, in New South Wales, um, but also tells us what the economic costs are for patients and their families and society at large of having a group of people with FND receive the kind of care uh, that they currently do.